Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to talk you through how you can color your cosmetic products naturally without the use of synthetic pigments or dyes. I'm also gonna talk you through their characteristics, benefits, and also some stability and formulating concepts when it comes to these natural types of ingredients. Now let's get started. Okay, so I have just a few examples here to show you just to give you a bit more of a visual um, representation of the different types of materials that you can use to color your emulsions. Now, some of them are pigments, but they're not synthetic pigments. They're a range of natural ones. And we've also got some oils and extracts back here that can also add color to different cosmetic products as well. So my first example here is I have some acai oil. So as you can see, it's quite a very light green color. Now, in, an, in a cosmetic product, depending on the input that you use, this can give a light to dark green type of shade. Now, the oil comes from acai palm berries. And some of the benefits it has in formulas is that it's obviously natural. Depending on the grade or supplier, normally it does come Cosmos approved or certified. It's also lightweight and silky in texture. So it's not thick and greasy like most other plant oils as well. And it also has some really good moisturizing and antioxidant benefits as well for the skin. Now, as I said before, depending on the input, you will get different shades of green. So around 1% will give you that light shade of green. And then obviously the more you use, the darker it's gonna go. So five to 10% is gonna give you quite a dark shade of green. Now, there is another oil as well that I unfortunately don't have an example of, but it is Bariti oil. So as the oil itself, it's dark red to brown, but it can provide quite a fluorescent type of orangey, reddish yellow in emulsion so it does give that really nice vibrant color to products that's from the marish palm fruit and that's natural same as the sire oil depending on the supplier grade or supplier it does normally come cosmos approved or certified it does give good moisturization it's got some really good antioxidant capabilities which promotes skin protection as well now over two percent will give you that really nice rich fluorescent color uh, in an emulsion or you know other types of cosmetic products as well now I have quite a few examples here of the beautiful range of colored natural oils from Biole so they are all plant or fruit derived and they have some awesome amazing just vibrant colors that you can add to different types of cosmetic products so I'm going to talk you through um, the types of colors that they do provide depending on input and also some of their benefits as well in a formula So my very first one here I have is the ruby red now I have used this in a couple of formulations before This does give a very very nice pink to kind of hot pink slash red depending on input type of color Now this is from the alkanet root. It's hundred percent natural. It's cosmos certified. It's also vegan It's China approved and it's also got some antioxidant activity as well as skin conditioning benefits. Now, when it's used in high concentrations, it actually does provide a skin staining uh, effect. So this is actually good to use in makeup products as well. Bringing up the color chart on screen here, so you can see in an emulsion, 0.1% will provide a pale sort of pastel pink color, and then 1% will provide a hot pink slash red type of color. So this one used in quite small inputs can provide very very heavy color where some of them don't now my next one here is the garnet red so again this is going to give like a really nice like deep red sort of color now this is also from the alkanet root as well so this is a, a nice beautiful red oil it's also cosmos certified 100 percent natural and also china compliant as well and depending on the input as well you will either get a really nice light shade of sort of that that carmen red sort of color or the more you use you get like the heavy deep sort of red color now my next one is the rhodonite red so as you can see here this is a very lighter shade of red almost looks a little bit orange as well so this is also by Biole. So this is a co-product from Red Bell Pepper. So in Australia, that's red capsicums. So this is a um, upcycled ingredient, which is awesome. So it's 100% natural, it's Cosmos certified, it's China approved and it also has skin conditioning and antioxidant benefits. Now, looking at the color chart on the screen here, you can see in emulsion, 1% will provide a pastel, like quite a light orange, and up to 5% will provide a nice vibrant orange. So again, you will need to use more of this to get more of a solid color. 
Now the next one from Biole is the Amber Orange. So that's this one here, quite similar to the Rhodonite Red, but this one provides light orange to orange depending on the input. So this one here is made from tomatoes, which is a co-product from the food industry. So it's made from the peel of tomatoes. So this is obviously another upcycled material. It's 100% natural, Cosmo certified, China approved, and it's also got skin and antioxidant benefits. Now looking at the color chart for this one, 1% will provide that nice light orange in an emulsion and 5% will provide a bright orange. So again, with this one, the, you need more to add more solid color. My next one is another orange. So this is the Carnelian Orange, also by Biole. So this will provide a light orange to orange depending on input. Now this is uh, made from organic off-size carrots. And this is also 100% natural, Cosmos certified, upcycled, China approved, and also has skin conditioning, moisturization benefits. Now with this one here, again, you will need to use more to get more of a solid color. So 1% will provide a sort of like a pastel yellow orange color and 5% will provide a vibrant yellow orange color. Just looking at the color chart here for emulsions. Now, the next one here is a yellow. So this is a Heliodor yellow by Biole also. So this, is, this provides a fluorescent yellow color. So this is made from solid fraction after juice production or curcuma rhizome plants. This is obviously an upcycled material. It's 100% natural and Cosmos certified, also China approved. And looking at the color chart here, using quite a low input can still give quite a beautiful color. So 0.1% it gives a light pastel yellow and then your 5% will give a bright fluorescent yellow color as well. Now I have a couple of shades of green here as well. So the first one here from Biole in green is the Jade Green. Now this provides a nice light green color. And this is a co-product from Green Bell Peppers. So in Australia, that's green capsicums um, cut from the food industry. So again, this is another upcycled material, which is fantastic for sustainability. It's 100% natural, it's Cosmos certified, China approved. It's got the antioxidant and skin conditioning benefits. And also with this one, if you use at high concentrations, it will provide that skin staining effect. So again, really good to use in makeup products as well. Now, 1% of this will provide a very light jade. I'm gonna say slash orange green color if you're looking at the color chart here for emulsions. And then the 5% will also provide like that darker jade slash, I'm gonna say uh, olivey color green as well. Now the next green one from Biole is the emerald green. Now this provides light green to green in color. And this is made from green tea and mint leaves from organic iced tea production. So again, another upcycled material, 100% natural, Cosmos certified, China approved, antioxidant activity and skin conditioning benefits. So 1% looking at the color chart here in emulsion will provide a light green color and 5% provides a dark green color. Now, they're the oils, so you can add color to your cosmetic products using oils. This was a serum made with the emerald green color, so this was only used at 1%. So you can see it still provides a very green color. It's a uh, jade slash olive. I think that looks really nice. So that's in a serum. And this is the Rhodonite Red used in a body wash. So this provides uh, that really nice reddish orange, beautiful color. So they're the oils. You can use extracts also to add color to your cosmetic products. Now I have one example on, on hand here, but there are so many more. Um, so this is the Hydro Blue also by Biole. So this is a nice, beautiful, I'm gonna say electric dark blue color. And this is made from spirulina sourced from a local pond culture. So it's 100% natural, it's Cosmos approved, also upcycled and China approved. And looking at the color chart here, in an emulsion 0.5% will provide a very light pastel blue. And then obviously 1% will provide a darker blue. Obviously you can use more as well, which will, which will deepen that blue color as well. So the next lot I'm gonna show you are some natural pigments. Now, these are actually extracts made from fruit or vegetables. So my first one here is the Nat Pure X Fine Potato. So this is made from purple sweet potato. And it's giving that nice purpley red sort of color. Now this is natural, it's vegan. It's got some really good antioxidant benefits because it actually is an extract. And it also has color change effect as well with pH. 
Now, some stability and obviously some formulating concepts with this uh, Nat Pure color is that the color tends to fade when water is present. So it should generally only be used in anhydrous products, but otherwise it adds this really nice, beautiful color to it, um, which can also change with pH as well to more of like a, a bluey type of red type of color. The next one here I'm gonna show you is the Micro Zest 25 Gardenia Blue by Lesiona. It's another beautiful electric deep dark blue color. Now this is made from a dry extract of gardenia flowers. So, so this will provide a nice deep natural blue color um, and also quite intense as well. Now that's 100% natural origin. It's also biodegradable and GMO free. And the last colorant also I have to show you is another one for Lesiona. So this is the Microdest 25 carrot pink. So yes, you guessed it. It is an extract made from purple carrots. It provides a really nice intense purplish pink color. And because it contains high concentrations of the anthocyanins, these um, actually have some really good powerful antioxidants because remember it is an extract made from purple carrots. This is also 100% natural origin, also biodegradable and GMO free. So those are the examples I have to show you here on hand, but you can get other extracts. For example, Tasman pepper is another really popular one that provides a really nice vibrant pinky red color. You've got the Alpen Hillmore extract, which is peat extract, which is gonna add different shades of uh, neutral to brown, depending on the input you use. Some actives as well, or active extracts do add color as well. And you've also got some essential oils like blue tansy, which is a really good example. This adds a nice blue color to your products, depending on the input. Now, if you do want to see um, another video on how to use these natural colored oils from Biole, I do actually have another video on natural colorful emulsions where I have used some of these at different concentrations to show you um, what they look like in an emulsion. Now when using some of these natural coloring materials in your product, you do need to keep ensure your stability. Now with the natural colored oils, they are from plant and fruit resources. So you will need to use an antioxidant to protect your formula from oxidation. A lot of these materials also may be sensitive to things like light, air, temperature, and also pH. So that's another consideration as well when formulating. You need to make sure that you consider the right type of packaging. So something that may be airtight, something that could be opaque or UV resistant, so it's protected from light, and also something that's also protectant from heat. And you also need to make sure that you have a really stable base formula when you're adding these types of materials. So good preservation, good emulsifiers, good really G modifiers where necessary. Now the color of these natural materials may alter from different batches. Now this could be for reasons such as change in seasons. So it may not be in season. So when picked, the color could vary quite a bit. So the color may not be consistent throughout your different batches of cosmetic products. Adding color to your cosmetic products has so many different benefits. It has the visual appeal. Color enhances the aesthetic of a product making it more attractive to consumers on the shelf. There's also your brand or company identity. Using unique colors can help establish or reinforce a brand's identity. When consumers think of a color, it may connect them to a certain brand of skincare, makeup, or hair care products that they use. They can also be used for mood enhancement. Colors evoke emotions. So someone could be really attached to a product that has color due to the type of mood that they're in. It can also enhance performance. Using certain colors can signify certain benefits to a cosmetic product. For example, a rich green color can really signify a really good hydrating benefit to a cosmetic product. Think aloe vera, for example, or a nice sunny yellow could represent some brightening or some lightening properties. And lastly, there's also customization. Adding color to your cosmetic products allows for personalization for consumers in their beauty routines. It lets consumers express their unique and certain styles using different colored products. So to sum it up, using color in cosmetics not only improves the aesthetics of a cosmetic product, but it also enhances the functionality and also the emotional connections, making a product more appealing and effective to consumers. Now, if you would like a copy of this summary table that I've used in today's video for free, you can contact us on the email on the screen below. 
Now, if you enjoyed today's educational video, please give us a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.